Welcome back everybody. This is a continuation of uh, making the spoon the old-fashioned way and uh, as you can see it has dried quite well overnight. There were actually a couple of nights and you can see we got some holes to deal with and can either do our sawdust uh, trick or stuff a, stuff a twig in there or something like that. But we'll make that determination we still want to lose a little bulk on the bottom of this bowl so we're going to break out the sandpaper now and all this was done right here by the uh, detail knife and the sloyd and this side right here might have to be taken down a little bit more square straight i should say anyway we'll get busy with that and show you what it looks like outside it's uh it has gone from like 16 degrees fahrenheit it's supposed to be 74 fahrenheit uh rain <laughs> fog storms wind and all that coming but anyway at least we can hang out in the uh workshop if we want to might even go sit down outside and wait for the storm to come all right we took a little pick see how deep these holes go and that one looks kind of deep but that that can be fixed uh, and then we got one up front here and I'm really thinking that all these holes connect uh, when this particular uh, piece of wood was growing something must have crawled up in there and uh, made itself uh, at home I think the birds are the squirrels and everything are out here enjoying um, this uh, warmth. Of course, we've got another big rainstorm coming, which uh, I guess ought to be happy about. It's not snow, and here in a couple months, when we get closer to planting season, I'll be quite happy to have all this moisture in the ground. Yeah, I had somebody ask me the other day, uh, well, you can make a spoon in about 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, you can. But why? Yeah, hey, buddy. He, he agrees. Why? Yeah, when you, uh, an old retired dude and, you know, you're not in, in a rush, then kind of stretch things out and make it pleasant. You know, all them years running uh, like a crazy person. Now, we don't have to. I feel a little bit of rain. Yeah. Feels nice and dry. It's good solid on the wood. Um, we got a little bit of a furrow right here. It looks like something maybe right here. I believe I'm going to get the uh, hatchet out and see if I can't make a couple of strikes across the front of the uh, bowl and see just how far this goes. Because when I was sanding it, I noticed then it blew out the, the sawdust away. I noticed that the sawdust came out here. <laughs> yeah. Sound like a we had ourselves one enterprising beetle.
right, so that gives us a better view of where that hole is and how deep it goes. So there must be a hole or cavern right like here. So it looks like before we go any further, we're probably going to have to do our sawdust trick. Alright, we got our wood glue and a little bag of sawdust and we're going to put a little dab of glue up in the hole there. And uh, we're going to get ourselves a little twig and pack that hole and move on to the next one and give it a little bit of time to dry. Alright, one twig picked up in our backyard there. Nice and thin. Of course, it's all big enough, and I've sometimes I've stuffed the whole twig or stick right up in the hole <laughs> and glued glue the sawdust around it. And we'll take our our glue. Sawdust. Just pack the hole. And once you get the hole where it feels like it's full. We'll get ourselves a, a little pinch of sawdust here. And let's get just a just a little squeeze of sawdust there, not a whole much. The whole bunch, I should say. Okay. And only time will tell whether, uh, That was a successful whole patch of a hole. And I'm gonna leave that sit for a little bit. That way it all kind of drains down and gets packed up in there and then we'll move on to this hole right here. All right, let's uh, put a little glue up here on the bigger hole. So a little pinch of sawdust and get over top there and get our little twig. There we go. Say, why go through all this? Just go grab another piece of wood. Why not? Just uh, keep doing your thing. Yeah, this one's gonna take a bit more sawdust, I believe. And the last one feels like it goes quite deep up in there.
she's filling up good now. Oh yeah. Getting there. Get a little glue on the end of our stick here. Yeah, there have been times where I've just uh, packed a whole twig up in there, then got another little twig and uh, just left a twig in there. And then as you're bringing it down by sanding or whatever, it leaves a really uh, cool pattern, especially if you encounter the uh, stick kind of sideways. You don't really see the rings narrow you see them kind of long all right I'm gonna have to let that hole dry for a bit you can see this hole went so deep that I had to shove a whole twig down in there now we're gonna use a little smaller twig to pack sawdust around there and just uh, leave it to sit for a bit and see whether our our handiwork uh, work and we'll know when we use our hook knife to open all that up okay let's see if we can show this and just keep packing that uh hole might actually shove this other twig up in there once I get it really packed in there good all right we're gonna let that dry a good while and uh, we'll come back all right it's been a couple hours and I think I'm gonna give it just a little bit more because that was a deep hole I would imagine, like I said, when we get our uh, hook knife up in here, it's going to be, uh, we'll discover exactly how deep this thing was. <laughs> 